Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this react.js video tutorial, we will learn that how we can set up react.js inside the Windows operating system. So these are the steps. First of all, we will install the node and npm. Then we will install the Visual Studio code editor. Uh, even you can use the any code editor, whatever you want, like sublime brackets, or you can use the notepad plus plus, whatever you want. But I will recommend the Visual Studio code because it has a lots of plugin. They can help to make your code and project faster as well as it provides the autocomplete and the intelligence with the javascript as well as react also right uh, then we will install a cra that we call uh, create react app so that we can start quickly with the react js and uh, after that i will answer my question which i asked in the previous video and i will ask you one more question in the video and if you want, you can attempt this question in the comment box also. If you want to join me on our Instagram, then the link is given here, right? And uh, you can ask me the any kind of question on my Instagram also. Uh, so I will probably answer here because there's a lots of questions. Sometimes I just miss, but I will try to answer every question, right? So uh, now let's see that how we can install a node for that. Let's open a new tab and just write here Node.js, right? And uh, then just click on a first link which is the official website of a node and you will find two link here first thing is that it will automatically detect your operating system if you are on the windows or linux uh, sorry if you are on the mac or linux then it will just uh, show that you can download it for uh, windows or uh, for the, your uh, current operating system now we are on the windows that why it will just recommend the two version one is stable which is a 14.15 and uh, one is the latest 15.0.1 I will recommend you that you have to download the recommended version because in the current or latest version you might be get some bugs and all that's why recommended is always better right so now let's click on it and uh, it will just take a moment to install so that uh, just uh, wait for it so here we go this is uh, downloaded now and now let's click on this and uh, you will just uh, get a wizard for uh, installation and you can just click on a next i already installed the node.js that's why it will just ask me to change remove or uh, repair in your case it will not going to ask this question so i am just going to click on a um, change right and let's click on a change and uh, it will just take a moment to install right after installing you can just uh, finish it and uh, open the command line and let's check that node or uh, npm is, is installed or not for that just right here node minus v and now you can see that the current version which is we downloaded from here 15 14.15 is installed right and let's check here npm minus v npm and the node version version is always be different right and here you can see that we have a npm uh, 6.14.8 right that's great now uh, we need to uh, use uh, any code editor right so just simply use here vs code and you can just find it here so click on a first link and uh, you can just click on a download link and after that you just need to follow the steps like next and accepting terms and condition and this will be installed right i already installed this and this is very easy to install that's why i'm not going to install it again so we can just pause or uh, cancel it for a moment right and uh we can just quickly uh, move our video also after that now just uh, minimize this all these things and let's open a command line right and just go on a dashboard for that just right here dashboard and create any folder let's say mkdir this is command command for creating a folder and folder name let's say create a react tute right because i am just going to make tutorial that's why i just put a react tute and just go inside a folder right and now just write here npx create react sorry react app and you can put your any name to your application let's say i'm just going to put it blog you can put here anil and whatever your name or whatever you want to put right so now maybe you are confused that what is npx right because we installed the npm we did not install the npx right see npm and npx are pretty much similar npm is basically used when our uh, 
project is actually created and we just want to some install some package right but when we just want to create a new application and want to set up for it that time we use the npx right and uh, it uh, just takes some time to install this complete application uh, actually it's totally depend on your internet speed also if your internet speed is good then uh, it will just uh, move faster otherwise uh, it will just little bit slow as my internet is slow for a moment that's why right so yeah this is just uh, start working here so it will just do it uh, install our project in the two step first of all it will install the npx and after that it will just uh, creating a new react app inside here right here you can see that and whenever this command is executed now you will find there our application name which we just uh, mentioned here if you just want to check um, it is uh, here right the folder name uh, is actually just mentioned here application name and uh, uh, within just installing it it will just create some folders and files here and uh, our project will be ready then we will just uh, uh, run this project and we will check that how it's actually work so uh, CRA is completely installed and uh, now for our project what we can do we can just go inside a blog folder and uh, first of all we want to open our project inside our visual studio code for that just run here command code dot if you are using visual studio code this command will work if you are using sublime or something else then this command will not going to work right i'm just talking about the code dot right and here you can see that we have some folders like node modules public uh, and uh, src and some files also so how they are working and what is the work of these files we will see in the next video in this video what we are going to see, in, see at the last we just want to see that how it's actually running so for that we have to just run here npm start and just hit enter and uh, this command will uh, just open our project inside the uh, uh, chrome browser or any other browser also or whatever you have a default browser yep so now you can see that this is actually just opening our project inside uh, edge browser so i am not going to open it here so let's open it inside a chrome browser and uh, now you can see that this is working fine so that's great our uh, purpose of this video is completely done now let's uh, move on our interview question so in the last video i asked that what is npm and why we use it so this is simply means node package manager the full form of the npm is and why we use it so uh, sometime we actually just need to some external libraries like we just want to install uh, some validators routings or we want to uh, use the Google Maps kind of things so that we need some external library for JavaScript and NPM will help these uh, with these libraries, right? This is a one purpose. I will tell you the another one also, right? So just uh, for that, what we need to do, we don't need to add these files path or we need, don't need to download and all manually. So we just need to write here NPM install and our package name, right? and uh, it will just install the th these things automatically so let's say i just want to install uh, mm -mm, google some libraries so i can just put here google lib or something right and uh, one more thing which is very important uh, it will just help us to make a build also so here you can see that in uh, these files we have the lots of code here and uh, like here you can see that right so and there is a lots of space and we don't need this space kind of so and these space are just taking some uh, memories and uh, will uh, just take some execution time also so npm will remove these old kind of things remove the extra node modules also everything that is extra in our project and make a single file and this is single file is minified javascript file and it will run very fast so these all things are handled by the npm we don't need to do any kind of things and uh, the npm start we done here this is also done by the uh, you can say that the npm and there's some more commands here you can see that like uh, npm start we run here build test and inject these kind of things or are also handled by the uh, npm so this is a completely node package manager which is manage our all package manage building builds and manage the uh, you can say that the final build also right so now i have a question that 
सो डू वी हैव एनी सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ अनदर पैकेज लाइक